Well, alrighty guys, today we have this enormous thing. This gigantic, look at how big this box is. Look, Leo's gone completely from the shot because of just this box. So this is for Hakuja, our very first straight up kaiju. And this is uh, sculpted by Gentle Giant. It says it has eight points of articulation. That's probably about right. Also in this line, Obsidian Fury, Guardian Bravo, Titan Redeemer, which we have done a review of from Bandai. We need to get these two still. Gypsy Avenger, also need to get him. Saber Athena, which we've also done from Bandai. And Bracer Phoenix, guys, who is coming. And there is the whole lineup of Jaegers. And I don't remember Okuja in the movie. I'm assuming he was. So you can see the packaging is just, this is just, this is bigger than anything else, guys, I think we've ever had as far as packaging goes. That thing is nutty huge. And this is probably, oh man, I'm gonna say it's a good, good 13 inch figure. Guys, the sculpting here from Gentle Giant is pretty tremendous, guys. Tons and tons and tons of detail, guys. And I'll show you, we can take a look through some of the points of articulation here momentarily. And there he is, guys, playing, surprise! You can see the kaiju. Blood is all the way through here on the detailing. And I would say there's more than eight points because you've got rotation, all six of these. You've got a hinge here. So you've got rotation on all six of these, those legs. You've got a hinge here for his jaw. Uh, the tongue, guys, is re-glued, so that had to go back in. So I'm not gonna actually show you that, but, and you've also got rotation here. So you've actually got, you can see, you got rotation and you've got a hinge here. So right here alone, this is four points of articulation. So there's eight there, and then you have all this on here, right? So you have actually more like 24 points plus a tail, 25, and the face is another one. So guys, just taking a look at the detail here, it is intense. This is, um, I think, one of the best figures that Diamond has ever put out, honestly, guys. And Hakuja, I don't... I'm assuming he showed up in the movie. You can kind of see where his tail lines up. So his tail lines up uh, with the scales here, guys, with the spine a little bit. Uh, there is a little, doesn't line up super precisely, but uh, you can also give him this to be like a, scorp a scorpion's pointer here. He's got a spear tip on his tail. You can see the, the, yellow, the yellow paint actually, guys, you can see could be a touch better. But the detailing overall is pretty intense. The yellow stripes, I'm not... They, they strike me as a little bit odd. They're kind of almost haphazard here, guys. They give a little bit of an unnatural look to it, but... Aside from that, guys, you can see the molding here. This, this detailing is just incredible. He's got the six legs. He's kind of a... Hakuja appears to be some kind of peekaboo! Surprise! Surprise! He appears to be, almost looks like an, an, an owl here. Uh, it's almost like kind of a lobster scorpion thing I would say here, guys. But this is, uh, and this thing is huge. I mean, this is, look at how big this thing is. This is easily 13 inches, guys. Easily. And you can have them climbing up stuff, just depending on how you want to pose them. It's a, uh, this thing is pretty wicked. I mean, you can see there's really intense detailing here in the mouth area, under the hood. His, his head will turn. He has not a great amount of articulation here, guys. Honestly, the rotation here and, and moving it back is not, is not awesome, but that part I actually wish was a little bit better. 
the way that they actually constructed the tongue I wish was way way better uh, and you can kind of see you get the impression of eyes there but there's like dots there's a whole row of dots here for eyes and I, I don't remember guys if this guy was in the movie I'm assuming he was because it doesn't this is like a crit this is probably one of the bosses this thing is just enormous like you put it side by side next to a Jaeger or um, actually guys so here he is next to a six inch Godzilla and like this thing is just massive next to that I mean, look at how big these things are let's see if I can even give you guys a comparison I mean it's like not even a contest guys that this thing is just enormous and so the Jaegers are roughly the size of that Godzilla there guys and this thing is just crazy larger than they are you can see the, the shadow it's actually casting on the table right now that's that's just intense this is a this is a weapon figure I like this like a lot of the diamond stuff I'm not super in love with but this thing man this thing this thing's a champ just it's, it's kind of one of those crazy figures that you just kind of come out of nowhere that you're not even necessarily expecting but you see so you got different arm lengths here as well so you can kind of do the stepladder thing with him uh, let's see here if we can put things underneath his claws and kind of have him do that whole bit see he's walking but you can also extend these I think you can actually bring these forward a little bit bring that forward bring that forward put them all the same so that he's slinking along the ground I mean there's a really wide variety of poses you can have an arm in the air ready to strike the tail ready to strike these things I guess would be more grabbing and clawing uh, whereas these would be more striking striking hands but you can see where he's you know, if he's getting ready to just grab something here, let's get the rotation here is a little bit stiff. Uh, that's interesting. So you can see this one's rotating. This one apparently is a little stiff. Or maybe this one doesn't rotate. I would think it would. Oh yeah, there it is. Just a little stiff. Okay, so you can have him bring him down and like he's getting ready to catch something and yeah so he's got those nice he's got the nice um, these uh, these nice hinges here oh man he is super stiff though holy moly so stiff there we go okay so you can get him to just kind of snatch stuff I just hold it too as well guys so you could give this to him have him bring himself up in the air like so let's just do this pose put him up in the air it's just a little stiff and uh, he could kind of catch something and hold it in front of him like so okay come on there we go balancing is not always the greatest though with this guy can be a little bit of a challenge <laughs> It's like he's getting ready to catch something, guys. And then sting it with his scorpion tail. Pretty nutty. Pretty nutty. This this is just a really cool... This is a fun figure to look at. It's just really, really cool, guys. You can see the... Posability factor here is pretty pronounced. You guys can definitely, if you get one of these, do quite a lot with it. The coloration... Bandai also made one of these. The coloration on Bandai is a little bit different. Um, I like this one. It's it's a little bit heavier. It's a little bit more forceful, a little more aggressive styling. But both of them are good guys. This being our first straight kaiju, we also did have a kaiju drone uh, where the kaiju took over the um, one of the Jaeger suits, guys. And the review for that, of course, as well is uh, is up and available, guys. And I believe that will actually be. You could check. We should have a Pacific Rim playlist by the time this video is out, guys. So you could definitely check in there and be able to see it. But this is the first straight across kaiju we've had from Pacific Rim. And there's a few other ones in there that uh, definitely were giving some strong, strong thought to picking up like Shrike Thorn or Knife Head or some of those guys. Uh, just because the Pacific World, the Pacific Rim World guys, 
seems to be like a lot of fun. And these guys, Kaiju, of course, they're not going to have them battle Godzilla, but, you know, we probably will. You know, that's something we probably would do. But anyway, guys, there is your look at the Diamond Select Hakuja Kaiju from Pacific Rim Uprising, guys. If you did enjoy the look at this Fearsome Beast, guys, we would certainly appreciate the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button, guys, if you've not done so already, guys. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button for more of the latest, greatest content that's available, guys, including almost certainly more stuff from the Pacific Rim world, both the first and the second movie. Guys, you can also follow us on our Twitter feed where updates to the channel are made as soon as I possibly can once they happen, guys. And there's Twitter-specific content that you can't get anywhere else, such as different displays and things like that, guys. So feel free to follow us there if you are interested, guys. Uh, leave us a comment, guys. Let us know if you have this figure, if this is on your radar, if you have other kaiju, guys. We would love to hear from you on that. We're probably just going to look around at whatever strikes us is cool, guys. But if there's something you think we should be aware of, we would totally like to hear that. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye-bye.